The 10,000 meter run turns out a disaster for heavily favored Washington State. Cougar runners have dominated this event the last four years and again were the ones to beat. Samson Kimamwa, last year's champion, and teammate Joel Chariot collide early in the race, and Chariot is forced to drop out. Kimamwa regains his composure and before long leads the entire field. In the final laps, Davy of Tennessee moves to the front. The runners jockey for position. Tracy of Providence overtakes Davy, and his jockey right on his heels. This race comes down to stamina. The runner with the most left will win. Tracy and Musyaki are locked in a head-to-head -head duel. Then Musyoki reaches deep and pours it on. He sprints ahead. Like the two Kenyan champions before him, John Nanyo and Kimambwa of Washington State, Musyoki owns that extra reserve of strength that allows him to sprint those last agonizing yards. Final order of finish. Musyoki, Tracy of Providence, Davy of Tennessee, and Kimambwa of Washington State. The appearance of another Kenyan from Washington State, Henry Rono, brings the huge crowd to seat edge. Now here's James Mignola, the defending champion. His face shows the strain of a tough challenge. The race is the 3,000-meter steeplechase, and of course, Rono is the odds-on favorite, having set the world record just three weeks earlier. Rono has raised the crowd's anticipation to the stratosphere. In the qualifying heats, he shattered the meet record set by Mignola in 1976. Also, Rono has broken Steve Prefontaine's meet record in the 5,000. However, both marks were considerably short of the world records, which Rono, not surprisingly, also holds. But by way of excuse, he did this day's running on a sore foot. That sore foot kept Rono from attempting a distance triple. He had planned to run the 10,000 meter the night before and the 5,000 later this afternoon. He reluctantly decided to skip the 10,000 this time out. Such is Rono's strength and endurance that there is no sign that his ailing foot has slowed him down in this race. And Rono doesn't disappoint the enthusiastic crowd. His winning time is short of his world record, but he does shave an additional six seconds off the mark he set in the heats. The 1,500-meter run features Steve Scott of California, Irvine, Steve Lacey of Wisconsin, Matt Centrowitz of Oregon, and Ray Flynn of East Tennessee State. Well into the race, Scott and Centrowitz move to the front. Centrowitz drops back, and a stretch duel develops between Scott and Flynn. Scott, who is fighting the effects of the flu, pulls out the victory over Flynn and the fast-closing Steve Lacey. Scott's time, the fastest in the world this year, 337.58. The 800 meter sees another stretch duel. This time, it's Peter Lamachon of Texas El Paso holding off a hard charging Randy Wilson of Oklahoma.
the ground level camera shows just how exciting this race is. thousand meter loses some of its luster when Henry Rono elects to give his sore foot a rest. Rudy Chapa of Host Oregon has the huge crowd stomping and clapping as he and Samson Kimamwa, Washington State's other distance man, pull to the front of the 16-man field. Since 1966, this race has been the property of Oregon and Washington State. Only once in 12 years, 1969, when Ole Olison of Southern Cal won the title, has another school stolen the spotlight. A loud and active crowd is in the stands, and many of the record times can be attributed to sheer exuberance. Seldom do track stars get an opportunity to run with so much encouragement in their ears. To the delight of the hometown crowd, Chapa is in complete control. Oregon, disappointed so many times during this championship, finally has a winner. Chapa's victory evens the score with Washington State. Both schools now have six wins.